Day 18 is here, and why is this camera operator justifying his art degree with a Dutch blurry angle on Crazy Girl? We get it, stardom. She's John Moxley. Suzu's been on a crazy run, though, and she can actually catch up to Julia, even. And she's facing Hanan, wearing yellow. Oh, Hanan. She hasn't won a single match and immediately goes after Suzu. Hanan, tired of Hananing, but these outbursts don't last long when Suzu is Hanan in your face. The obvious happens. It takes just one German to beat Hanan. Suzu with 12 points. She has Starlight Kid in a bonus DLC match and Julia remaining. Next is Nuts Boy versus Saya Ida, and the Fairy Queen seems to have added the SOS to her repertoire. She uses it to beat Saya Ida. And what is with this camera, dude? <laughs> And here comes Two Belt Saki. She's taken on Komomo, the holder of the sexy book of Kashima. And once again, Momo out here alone. But Lady C, current caretaker of the combat square, apparently. This is the only thing I wanted to point out. Oh, and this. All of this is apparently a callback to their past. Either way, we're moving on. Saki wins with a riptide. All right, next is Koguma the bear versus the high speed bomb champion, the ever incredible and amazing Azumi. Hair tied back, she's not serious, rightly so. Koguma out there like, I'm a bear. Will the quick champion chase? No, she's a speedrunner. She has a skip for that. And right away to the arm. So Kaguma with the massage. Yeah, put some work into that back. And then they pull a rematch of their cage match battle. And they drink in. Oh, Kaguma wins. But Kaguma wants more. Okay. One more go, but Azumi skips the match and straight to the fight. But Kaguma tries to pull her this way, and Azumi that way, and Kaguma this way, and the ref grabs them, and oh, they both fall out. Kaguma tries to hide, but Azumi like, nope. But Kaguma reverses, and then runs away, and Azumi is chasing her. She's chasing her, and where'd they go? They're gone. My god. <laughs> And the ref just counting and counting and nope, there they are, back in, and immediately high speed time. I hope everyone realizes they both just skipped two straight acts of a match. Doesn't matter, they struck the pin exchange, and then Azumi with the Azumi Sushi, no, Kaguma with the Kuma roll, no. Azumi kicks out, but Kaguma then does the Ultra Kuma roll. Rolling and rolling and oh no, she beats Azumi. Oh, oh no, Azumi lost. That was her chance to run away again. And Azumi chases her, she chases her. But now that Azumi lost, Risa Sarah can sweep in here and take the lead in the red block. She just has to kill a little demon. Oh no, Saki Kashima out there acting like she's not about to die. She must have some devious plan, this mischievous goblin, oh. But she's like, hold on, let her shake my hand. And Risa knows better. But if the ref shakes her hand, it's safe. And oh, why does that always work? Risa already done with the little demon's cute games and gives her an attitude adjustment, then punishes and stretches the poor frail back of Kashima. Easy there, Risa. Saki like, shit, I didn't have a plan B. And Risa, no, no, don't. Knee stabs to the back. And now a swing, but nope. Saki holding on for dear life. But it's inevitable. She swings the shit out of Saki. Oh no. <laughs> And then she <laughs> and then she tosses her right off. Awesome. She legit does it better than Claudio. Oh, the dizzy brain tumbling in that noggin of Saki Kashima. Risa with knees and then disgusting knees. Eesh. Listen to her gasp. Kini doko made fumikomu ka? Risa lifts her up, but Kashima with a small package, but nope. Risa deadlifts her up and back down with a falcon arrow, and Saki is dead. Risa lifts her 
and makes no mistake in letting her breathe and drives her down with a landslide. But Saki Kashima kicks out! So Risa quickly lifts her back up, but Kashima revives from the brink of death and locks into Kishikaise. Oh my god! Oh my god! She beat the Death Queen and stops her from taking the lead. Saki Kashima, that little demon, she's beaten nothing but top tier wrestlers. Imagine if she gave a damn. Next is Starlight Kid, who has a New Day clap. Little bitch. Little bitch. And she's facing against Mirai, who has a clap of her own. And they have a clap off. A clap off. Mirai with her triple clap. And Kid with her little bitch. And Kid seems to be winning. But they go. Kid with the early high speed. And more little bitches. Little bitch. Japanese crowds are beautiful. The rhythm of the clapping as each are in control and back and forth they go until Mirai begins her power moves but then Kid goes for the leg kill but then Mirai smashes her face but then Kid with the DDT. Now both claps are going and have morphed into a new clap as Mirai hits her moves perfectly and tries to break Kid's arms. Kid escapes but Lariat but reverse and now Lariat no time. But Kid escapes and tries her Frankensteiner, but Mirai power bombs her down. Clothesline, but Kid drops her knee and twists her down. She covers her with the injured leg, forcing a kick out and smooth transition into the Black Tiger leg kill. Can she lock in the legs? Mirai trying to escape to the ropes, but Kid rolls her into the middle and locks the legs. But Mirai, the beast, tries to stretch out and reach, but she has no way to go it's over but no kid let's go what are you doing you had her up top for a moonsault and she hits it but Mariah kicks out starlight screams the black tiger powering up starlight needing the win going for the keychain bomb but lariat Mirai powering up, but knees from Kid, and she drives her down. And the Black Tiger suplex ends the match. Starlight Kid almost letting her hubris get in the way again, but her sights are set to the finals. And Kid lays down God's punishment on Mirai because she's insane and like, like a little Miro. Next is Mina Shirakawa, looking gorgeous as ever. Last time, Mina Shirakawa faced the Red Heart Suzu who beat her. But Mina's journey to become a better wrestler didn't end by making Aimi tap. She can still do three things here. Beat Saya Kamatani and earn a potential white belt match. Block Saya from running away with the blue block lead. And more importantly, she can get vengeance on the deceiver, Saya Kamatani, for usurping the belt from the divine goddess of cuteness. She must pay, Mina. She must pay. But the Golden Phoenix is the champ for a reason, and Mina has a hard time keeping up at first. Saya preventing leg damage from Mina, forcing her to change strategies and focus on her neck. And then Saya tries to get fancy, allowing Mina to finally get the knee. Figure four blocked by Saya, and by the time she locks it in, Saya is already at the ropes. Smart play, but Mina continues to strike the neck, strike off, and Saya like, yeah! And now they're fighting, they're fighting. Mina taking it to Saya, and Saya like, oh, rip my face. And wheel kick, dive outside, and drop kick inside. High angle suplex with a beautiful bridge. Nope, now Saya feeling her knee. Star Crusher blocked, backslide, reverse into the Kamagoye, into a Spartan kick, eesh. Star Crusher, and this is certainly, Mina kicks out, oh my god, up top for the Firebird, and Mina moves, Saya lands on her face, and Mina with the sexy pin, one, two, Saya kicks out, holy hell, Saya charges, and Mina low drop kick to the knee, elbow strike to the neck, and a DDT, Mina lifting Saya for the glamorous driver, but Saya escapes and kicks her down, but quickly Mina with an enziguri, but quickly Saya up like, yeah! 
Abamina with a big suplex. Then she climbs up. Why? Why are you going to do? What are you going to do? And the Phoenix rises and up top with more ear breaking screams. Bamina slaps the shit out of her. What are you going to do, homegirl? Big DT off the top. Wow. Mina lifts up Saya in the middle of the ring and up for a glamorous driver and she hits it. Wow, Mina does it. She beats Saya Kamatani, the white belt champion. Tam immediately celebrates with her. Aww. Mina can't believe it. Breaking down immediately. She earned this victory. All of her hard work she put into herself in this tournament paid off with a major victory against a serious top tier opponent. Vengeance for her leader, Tam, and effectively keeps Saya one point from leading still. Mina celebrates as this is more than a victory. This is exactly the type of victory Mina needed. She knows she's not Tam's right hand. And despite this horrible realization digging deeper in her heart, Mina fought to be better in the ring. And she did what many have a hard time doing. She beat Saya Kamatani and she didn't steal the victory. She beat her clean with her super finisher. Proud Mina leaves with her equally proud leader. For now, all is right in Mina's world. Whew. There's still three more matches, folks. After this break, yep, that's right, we're doing this. Next is Momo Watanabe, the Black Peach versus Julia. Everyone loves, loves Julia. Momo Watanabe only wanted to hurt people in this tournament, which is basically just an excuse for why she lost this whole time. I'm a Momo fan, but compared to last year, the new attitude of Momo has yet to produce consistent results. In relation, Julia hasn't had the best year either with her group losing members and her personal past coming back to haunt her. Despite losing the first two matches, Julia fought hard to win every match thus far. With a win today, she will lead the block with 15 points. But since Momo Watanabe has nothing to lose, this makes her a dangerous Momo. They start off with a test of skills, perhaps, but no. They quickly give up and tore Yanu the corner. And now it's American Gladiators. Julia, the Ice Queen, with the first knockdown. Outside, Julia beating the Black Peach with the pads and even going after Starlight Kid and Natsaki Kashima. But Natsuko Tora distracts Julia and Momo beats her with a chair. Inside, Momo whips Julia into the exposed turnbuckle. Momo with hard kicks now and Julia counters with a suplex. Curb stomp on Momo and then the red ink. In the corner, Momo be beating Julia but she fucks it all up by going up top and Julia punishes with a butterfly. Suplex exchange program in effect and then Momo with a hard kick but Julia counters with a drop kick. Back and forth, neither giving, but Momo receives karmic justice for her face into the exposed turnbuckle. Backdrop driver and a falcon arrow. Glorious driver, but Momo escapes and hits the peach drop. And then the bee driver, but Julia kicks out. Chicken wing applied, and then the tequila sunrise, but Julia kicks out again. Momo still has plenty of moves though. It's Momo time with the wrench, but Julia dodges and punch. Momo tries again, but Julia drops her down, but the peach not ready to rot, and Momo kicks her with a wrench kick. And a punt. She's done. Holy shit. All of Julia's hopes, and Momo with the peach sunrise. One, two, but Julia kicks out. She's still in it. So Momo spams. Peach sunrises. And finally, she beats Julia. Julia's ascension to the lead has been halted by the Black Peach. Wow, what a good match. What a nasty little spoil too. Will this haunt Julia? The next match is Hazuki. And if she wins, hope for the Ice Queen. It's but a tiny ember kept a lit by ambition and luck. Everyone is literally sweating for a god performance from Mayu Iwatani. She's used to having Stardom World on her shoulders. She's the ace. They're Atlas. 
These two are stablemates, and when Hazuki returned to stardom, she called out Maya for letting outside wrestlers dominate the company. Now they can face each other and battle like true warriors. Hazuki is facing the biggest throw in any tournament I've ever seen. Big, big stakes. Let's go. And it looks like Mayu's zombie curse is healing as her hair is lightening back up. She must have gone on a crazy side quest and saw a wizard. And they begin right away. Hazuki, the wild heart, versus the icon Mayu. And it's good shit right away. And a vicious Mayu kick. Hazuki responds right back. But Mayu responds back with the same. And a drop kick leading her outside. Mayu with her tope. But Hazuki moves. And Mayu hits her group instead. Hazuki dives. And hits her target as intended. Rope assisted DT plants Mayu on her head and now to kick her head off and kick it she does. She knows how to kill a zombie. The scrappy fighter Hazuki relentless as always but Mayu won't give that easy. She has her tricks that always work. Baseball style chop and Frankensteiner but Hazuki powers up and cold breaker. And then big, big cold breaker. And now Hazuki, the wild heart, bombs away drop. And then immediately into her Michinoku driver. And Mayu kicks out. I love combo Hazuki. Brain buster reversed into a crucifix bomb. Hazuki kicks out. Now they strike off. Hazuki's wheelhouse. She was salivating for this. This is what brought Hazuki to her 14 points. Good old fashioned fisticuffs. Ruthless aggression. Kick. Mayu up immediately, German, Mayu with this face, and super kick, dragon suplex hit, and Hazuki kicks out, Mayu up top, big moonsault misses, and Hazuki with the cradle, and Mayu kicks out, she charges, and Mayu catches her, and drops her with a tombstone. Another hard kick, but Hazuki is still conscious, so Mayu lays her out again. Mayu up top, the weight of the blue block on her shoulders as she moonsaults Hazuki and gets the victory. Mayu, the savior of the blue block. Everyone owes her now. Hazuki with her best effort, but the icon was on it. Hazuki didn't stand a chance against God Beast Mayu Iwatani. Great match. Now, for the main event, Tam Nagano in her ultra cute warrior outfit. She has a chance to win this tournament, so let the hype train go! Woo! Versus the champion, Suri. This is a rematch of their red belt battle too. Can Tam seek revenge on Shuri, who is done being embarrassed by cuteness? Both on equal ground at first, each thinking the same move and neither gaining control until a slap from Tam and then her knee. And how quickly things fire up as Tam leaps outside and lands on Shuri's face. Up top, they fight for control and Tam kicks the back of Shuri's head hard. So Shuri smacks her face. She takes her down and immediately goes to tear her bandage arm off. Shuri, the predator, after the damaged arm, big old blue tape just asking be torn off by the final boss. Despite her efforts, Tam can't get any offense on her. Shuri with vicious kicks, including this, where Tam basically dies. Look at her. Huge buzzsaw kick. And Tam kicks out. Shuri to finish Tam, but she escapes and locks her thighs around Shuri in a very unique submission. And she topples her down. Wow. Shuri losing her breath. Huge gasps of breath as she finds the ropes on the apron. Tam suplex. No. Kick instead. But Tam with a German. Mina immediately the first one with water. 
Tam and Shuri enter before the count, but no, Tam slips. Oh no, she makes it still. Back and forth they go, and Tam kicks once and twice, and there's the Guardus War. Second phase, Nakano, knees. She spams the knees, but Shuri kicks out still. Violet Screwdriver? Tippy toes, yes! One, two, she did it, no! Shuri kicks out, holy shit! Tam can't believe it, I can't believe it! Tam tries for Twilight Dream, but Shuri fights her off and locks her in her sleeper. Shuri rolls back, locking in the legs, but Tam still finds the ropes. What a match! Shuri back to the arm now, switching ideas and locking Tam tight. No escape for Tam, oh no, she's out. She passed out. Ref calls it. Shuri pulls the victory off. Fantastic match, one of the best of the tournament, and Tam's still in murder mode. Even after defeat, look at that face. Fantastic. Tam finally has a moment where she realizes she lost. Watch out, Mayu. Tam Nakano is after your performer title. This is beyond me being a fan. Tam Nakano's performances this year have all been beautiful. Great show. Tam will have to wait to beat Shuri. Perhaps one day, as Mina carries her out, Shuri declares her intent to win two years in a row. She can still do it, but we'll wait on the math episode. I'm tired. Almost done. I appreciate all the support and engagement, especially on these longer videos. If you made it to the end, then a really big special thank you. That means the world.